Hey guys, it's Ishani, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So I did some damage at the Sephora VIB sale. As usual, if you know my channel, you know I usually go a little crazy during these sales. I ended up getting the big bag. You know when you walk away with a bag that's clear bigger than your face, it basically takes up half your body you know you probably got some good stuff. I actually posted about this on my Instagram stories and so many of you guys asked and confirmed and begged me to do a haul. Of course you guys knew it was coming, even in my Sephora sale wish list and recommendations video, which if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. I talked about all of the products that I would personally recommend. They were all tried and true Sephora favorites. And towards the end of that video, I did run through my wish list items. I will say that a lot of what I have in this bag did come from that wish list. But as usual, I also picked things up that were on that list. In fact, a lot of what I picked up were recommendations from you guys. So before we jump into what's in this bag, it's a really really heavy bag too. That means you know that I got some good stuff. I just wanted to let you guys know that if you're not familiar or if you haven't heard yet, I do have my own makeup line called Ronnie Cosmetics. I don't talk about it as much as I probably should on my channel because it is my own makeup line, but I wanted to let you guys know that we did just celebrate our first birthday. It is the one year anniversary of when Ronnie Cosmetics launched. It's been a year, which is crazy. So to celebrate, we are doing the biggest sale that we have ever, ever, ever done, ever. It is 30% off our entire store. That includes all of the individual lipsticks, all of the lipstick bundles, which are already pre-discounted. You'll get 30% off on top of the already discounted bundle rate. So if you guys wanna jump on this sale, it's only gonna be through this coming weekend. It ends on April 22nd, 2018. Just letting you guys know. If you guys have been wanting to try my makeup line, there is no better time to do it. This is an even bigger sale than we ran for Black Friday. So jump on it now. So I'll go ahead and put a link to the Ronnie Cosmetics website below as well as all of the sale and coupon code information. This birthday sale also came at the perfect time because we are trying to clear out some inventory for some new products we have coming up very very soon which I am just so excited about. Okay I'm gonna be done with the self-promotion now. Let's go ahead and jump into my Sephora haul. This is a true haul video because I haven't really tried most of what's in this bag unless it's a repurchase. So let's dive in. Where the heck do I even start? Okay, so I guess we'll go ahead and start off with some new launches from the Sol de Janeiro line. You guys know I'm obsessed with the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I put that in my recommendations video and I didn't realize that they had so many new launches in their line. So I went ahead and got this Brazilian Bod Buff. This product is a body mask. Yeah, I know. It's really, really extra. I mean, do we really need a body mask in our life? I don't know, I mean, I face mask all the time. I'll be honest, I've never body masked. But you know what, with this scent, I'm totally not opposed to it. It smells just like the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. It's that pistachio, vanilla, caramel type scent. Right on the front of the tube, it says smoothing scrubbing mask for touch me now, Brazilian babe skin. I want Brazilian babe skin. If this is gonna give me Brazilian babe skin, I'm pretty excited about that. I'm excited to be quite extra with my body mask. We will see how this works. I also went ahead and picked up the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Touch Hand Cream. Again, this smells just like the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I don't know exactly what the difference is between this and the Bum Bum Cream, but this comes in a cute little tube, so it's nice and travel sized. It is a fast absorbing hand, nail, and cuticle care with Kapuka Cacao Butter and Brazilian Nut. Kapuka Cacao, that's exactly how you officially say that word. I told you guys in my wish list and recommendations video that I wanted to get another one of the Dr. Jart Shake and Shot Rubber Brightening Mask. These these are one-time use masks, so they're pretty expensive for a single use type item, but I have found really great results with this. I use it once every two weeks or right before I have a big event or an important day or something, just as a little pick-me-up. It really does help clear and brighten my skin, and it's kind of a fun process because it really does dry rubbery, and then you can just peel it off, and it's, it's just the coolest feeling. So if you guys haven't tried a rubber mask, I know a lot of different brands are making them 
them. This is the only one I've tried and I really like it. I also went ahead and picked up another one of my Dior Addict Lip Glows. I showed you guys in my product recommendations video that I'm almost out of the one that I'm using. It is one of my favorite tinted lip balms that I always keep in my purse. It's one of those that naturally adjusts with your body chemistry to transform into your perfect pink pout. It's actually really nice. It's a very, very hydrating lip balm, which is why it's always in my purse and which is why I'm almost out of it. So I just went ahead and replenished that. Another restock item that I did already talk about as well. This is the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. It's one of my favorite makeup removers ever. I use it in place of a cleansing oil. It does just as good of a job. I really, really love the Pharmacy brand. This I've already talked about so many times, but this is a new product to me. This is the Pharmacy Green Screen Daily Environmental Protector Broad Spectrum SPF 30. So I have not tried this product yet. However, in my product wish list recommendations, I did talk about this being on my wish list and I asked you guys for sunscreen suggestions and a couple of you did say that you really, really liked this, that you'd already tried it and it doesn't leave a white cast on your skin, which is really important for me because I don't wear makeup every day and because I do have a tan complexion. If a sunscreen is going to give an ashy white cast, it will do so on my skin tone. Now another sunscreen, which wasn't on my radar at all, however, one of you guys mentioned it in the comments of that video and said that I should try the Tatcha Silken Pore Perfecting Sunscreen with Broad Spectrum SPF 35. And when I looked up this sunscreen on the Sephora website, it has amazing reviews. Everybody seems to love this. When I went into store, I kind of swatched a little bit on the back of my skin. And while it did go on like a milky white, it blended out and it didn't look ashy at all, at least on the back of my hand. It does have a little bit of like a glow to it, but I could see this being very, very beautiful under makeup. So I'm excited to try this as my sunscreen when I do use makeup, whereas the pharmacy one, I think I'm gonna use when I'm not wearing makeup, which is most of the time. So this is a new makeup item that I've been wanting to try that I completely forgot to mention in my wish list video. This is the new Makeup Forever Ultra HD Perfector Blurring Skin Tint with SPF. 25. Apparently SPF, if the word SPF is on something, I've just been all over it. I know I really need to get better about my sun protection. So this is Makeup Forever's newest skincare or complexion item. It's basically a tinted moisturizer. I've heard really, really good things about this. And again, when I swatched it on the back of my hand, it went on so smoothly. It just made my skin look and feel like silk. So I'm really excited to try this on. The shade that I got is number eight. Because this isn't like a full coverage type thing, Makeup Forever doesn't have that many shades in their line, but every shade can kind of cover a good range of skin tones. So hopefully, again, this is a good item for me. I can even layer this over the Tatcha SPF to kind of get double protection. And I was considering doing like a first impressions demo, check-in throughout the day type video on this item, if you guys want to see that. I've heard some pretty good things about this, but I haven't seen like a full dedicated review on it. So I can do that if you're interested. Another item I got as a restock is my Herbivore Coco Rose Coconut Oil Body Polish. I really, really love this. I use this exclusively on my hands. The reason I really, really like this exfoliator is because it is infused with coconut oil while it does scrub off all of the dead skin cells really, really well. It's very, very scrubby, but because it has that coconut oil in it, it's still fairly hydrated. So even when you rinse it off, your skin doesn't feel stripped. It comes in a nice glass jar. Because it's glass, I wouldn't necessarily recommend storing it in your shower. I just keep mine by my bathroom sink and I use it every night before I put on my hand cream. I went ahead and picked up this guy. This is the new Fenty Beauty Body Lava Body Luminizer. I put this product up on my Instagram stories about a week ago and asked you if you guys wanted to see a review. I've never in my life had so many people tell me, yes, heck yes, please review it. We want to know what you think. So, of course, I had to pick it up. The shade I got is Who Needs Clothes? I agree, Riri. Who the heck does need clothes? This product is <laughs> giant. 
light. It's large and in charge. It comes in the really, really nice, really hefty glass bottle. The product itself is so, so gorgeous. It wasn't until I saw it in store that I was just so excited to try it because it glows and glitters like a body thing I've never seen before. This I am going to be doing like a first impressions review demo type thing on. It may or may not be the next video on my channel. So just stay tuned for Thursday. Just, just saying. I also bought one more thing from the Fenty line. I actually ended up getting another one of the Fenty Glow Gloss Balms. If you guys watched my original Fenty Beauty review video, I'll link it below if you guys haven't seen it. But in that video, I did tell you guys that I bought this, I even tried it on, I demoed it, and I basically said that it was a good lip gloss, but it wasn't life-changing or revolutionary. That was honestly my thoughts at the time. And I will say at the time, again, I wasn't super, super into gloss. I was still very much on the matte liquid lipstick trend. So I just never really reached for it. I ended up giving it away to one of my friends who really wanted to try it because she also heard the hype. And now here we are a couple months later, the hype on this gloss is still so real. People are still still talking about it and now I'm like did I just not give that gloss a fair shot the friend that I gave it to really likes it as well and now that I am very much on the gloss hype bandwagon I'm just so in love with lip gloss right now I wanted to have this back in my collection so I picked up another tube of it we will see if the gloss is really worth it. I didn't think it was worth it the first time, but now I don't know. Maybe I'll go in with like fresh eyes and a different mentality. I don't know. We'll see. I got two drunk elephant things. These are some of the most expensive skincare products I probably have ever purchased. This product in particular, this is the TLC Sukari Baby Facial. I feel like everybody loves this. I don't think I've heard a single negative review on this. This is a 25% AHA, 2% BHA, basically an enzyme mask. This essentially eats away all of the dead skin cells on your face to make your skin look and feel like a baby's butt. Hence the word baby facial on it. So we will see how it goes. And in this little box, it actually did come with a little sample of the Virgin Marula face oil, which is perfect because this is another product I put in that wish list that I wanted to try. And now I have a little tube of it that I get to try before I have to commit to the full size because I actually did get talked out of purchasing this oil by a couple of you guys. Some of you guys said that it was a little too heavy for your skin type and it broke you out. I ain't down for an $80 oil breaking out my skin. So I will definitely give it a little shot since there's a little sample in here. I also went ahead and picked up the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. This is one of the newer moisturizers from Drunk Elephant and I am very, very loyal to my moisturizer. It's the Embryolisse Le Creme Concentrate. It's been my favorite moisturizer for years. However, this is almost supposed to be a moisturizer booster. Even on the jar under the suggested use, it says apply morning and night to clean clean dry skin for a vital dose of protein and replenishing support the skin needs to retain its youthful appearance. And it also says tip, mix a pump of proteiny with any drunk elephant serum, cream, or oil as a restorative skin dietary supplement. I don't have another drunk elephant moisturizer and I'm definitely not going to spend another, I don't know, 80 bucks on a drunk elephant moisturizer. So I'm just going to take a pump of this and put it in my already known and loved face moisturizer and see if it does anything miraculous for my skin. It better work wonders, guys. For the price of this, I think this was like $60, $70. This better, this better work freaking miracles. The final makeup related item, I actually didn't pick up a lot of makeup in this haul, did I? Wow, is Ishani growing up and getting a lot more skincare? Good for her. I ended up getting the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in the shade Radiant Bronze Light. Again, I talked about this in the wish list video and I said Said that I had this on my wish list, but I wanted to make sure it would be my shade, and I 
think that I could get it to work. All of these Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzers do have some shimmer in them. It's not glitter, it's not chunky, but it's a little bit of a glow. I think that's really pretty. Even my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer that I've just been using to death, I actually have it on right now almost as a contour, that does have a little bit of shimmer in it as well. So I'm going to try to use this in place of the Butter Bronzer just to see. I mean, I hope I like it more. This was like 50 bucks. And then the final thing things I picked up in my haul, insanely boring, but kind of a must have. I picked up two of the Urban Decay Grindhouse double barrel pencil sharpeners. I'm going to use one for my eye pencils, one for my lip pencils. I told you I have one of these in my collection right now, but it's old, so I want to get rid of it. And I've been using it for eye and lip products, which is not good. You're not supposed to cross contaminate that. It's actually just, it's just not a good idea. So I'm going to get rid of that one and replace with these two. And then yeah, the other things, there was like a little sample bag that they gave me for going in store. And then this is actually really cute. I didn't even know that she gave me this. It's a little Sephora card case. This is actually really cute. It's actually decent quality too. It's just a little card case. It has metallic red lips. Alrighty guys, so that was my Sephora VIB sale haul. The one thing that I did pick up online, I only got one thing online because I couldn't find it in store, is the Bobbi Brown bronzer brush. That brush is not available in store. It's an online only product and it's pricey, which is why this 15% off really did make a difference. I obviously haven't gotten it in the mail yet, otherwise I would totally show it to you guys, but I will probably end up mentioning that in a future video, probably my next faves and flops video. But yeah, that is everything. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to let me know what you guys picked up during the sale in the comments down below. Also, don't forget that the entire Ronnie Cosmetics website is 30% off with the coupon code. All of the information is down below. Make sure to get your orders in because we are not going to have another discount like that for a while. But anyways, that is officially everything. Thank you guys so much for liking, supporting, and subscribing. I really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video on Thursday. I'll see you then. Bye.